Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm here to do some brickwork. There was a timber fence here. So now they decide they want to go with some column or pier and then we're going to put brick. We're going to put brick in the in the middle section. So here's going to be brick along here. And then we're going to come up from, from down there with a, a column come around three foot. So that's um, it's around 25 foot long. Recently did some work for this customer. So now they decide they want to do this. So this is the brick that we're going to use today to do the columns. Measurement is three by nine inches and this is a concrete brick is more Difficult to lay than a clay brick in my opinion reason for that a clay brick absorbs the water from the mortar more faster So you can lay more lay of brick on top of a clay brick than oh you would lay it on a Concrete brick reason for that this brick doesn't absorb the water as fast as a clay brick does so you can't put too many weight on it. This brick is very heavy. This one alone weighs maybe two pounds. It's a very uh, heavy brick. So, so bear that in mind in case you're using a brick like this, a um, concrete brick. Okay guys, let's get started. So here's what, we, we, um, here's what I'm doing. So basically what I did, I run a line go all the way down I run a line go all the way down to the to the last column down at the back there. And what I did I I have four columns. So I just dry lay them. I put four bricks along the column and I put a, a line at the end, put a, a card line at the end there, a string line, and I put one right here. And then I square. So as you see here I square. I put the square right here and line it up so all of the column are in line. So I wanna mark, wanna mark code right on top of the concrete.
the guy the customers are planning to put blocks right here before they were saying they want to use bricks but uh, they want to go with blocks in the middle and maybe do stucco on the inside let me know what you guys think you think brick would it would look better with all brick or you think the block will give it a nice contrast look because I'm plumbing it this way I just I just plumb it every three or two courses while I go up that way I know I can bang it over with this way because being as it's a concrete brick it takes more time for the model to absorb so it so it's not gonna get hard the joint not gonna be hard real quick look you can see it's still fairly soft To lay the first, uh, to level the first two before you put the, uh, the other two. This way you can put your level across like so to plumb it. Because once you put your level across, it's the same result uh, that um, if you go this way to plumb it. So put your first two bricks and plumb it and level it, and then you put the uh, you put the, um, the, the other two on it. We can be in the sky. You want to plumb the four corners and you want to keep plumbing while you're going up. Make sure it's it's off plumbing level. Another thing you can do every now and again is check it with your spear because this brick, this brick here, because it have so many, so many of um, these guys here, you, you can't get to run your, your level straight away with it. So every now and again you, you put your square and just check to see if it's, it's going square and nice. Very good. And again, run a level. Run a level our first two coats. Level the first two, plumb it, same result, you put it over this way, see? So those brick ties, I put each brick tie 8 inches up so when I put my block I tie it over so the block gonna tie onto the column. That's the purpose of those brick ties. If you get value from this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell 
so when I upload new video you get notified I have lots of video coming up we still have the the, the sidewall here to do so subscribe so when I finish the sidewall you get notified you can come back and see how I did it and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it so this is it for now guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one